with 33 million confirmed cases and 600,000 deaths from COVID-19 in the U.S., which are both the highest in the world. The U.S. didn't reflect on its own problems, but rather attempt to scapegoat China. My question is, what are they up to? Can they sleep at night with a untroubled conscience? I also want to point out that there are many doubts over Fort Detrick, and the U.S. has over 200 bio labs around the world. How many secrets is withheld by the U.S. in July 2019? There was. Respiratory diseases that emerged in Northern Virginia for unknown causes, and we also saw the Evali outbreak in Wisconsin. What's the reasons behind that? Did the U.S. ever share information and data on relevant cases? I think the U.S. owes the whole world an explanation. That was the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson there, arguing China should not be blamed for the origins of COVID-19, and instead posing the question to the United States: Can they sleep at night with an untroubled conscience? The comments came as retaliation after the United States have picked up their efforts to get to the bottom of how coronavirus originated. Reports emerged a few days ago of the Biden administration shutting down an investigation into the Wuhan Institute at the center of the COVID-19 lab leak theory. The probe was launched by then Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, but yesterday President Biden says he's actually asked the intelligence community to report within 90 days on the likely origins of COVID-19. The theories this probe will investigate is whether the virus was either leaked from a Chinese lab or from an infected animal that transmitted to humans. But China did not take Biden's decision too kindly, instead addressing its regular press conference to shift blame onto the United States and telling them to examine its own behaviour. The foreign ministry spokesperson said, "What are they up to? Can they sleep at night with an untroubled conscience?" He tells the local press that the United States has over 200 bio labs around the world. The spokesperson then claims the United States' aim is to use the pandemic to pursue stigmatization, political manipulation, and blame shifting. Some in the U.S. turning a blind eye to facts, science, and questionable study of origin, incompetent response at home, kept clamoring for additional investigation in China. This shows that. The U.S. side does not care about facts or truth, and has zero interest in a serious science-based study of origins. Their aim is to use the pandemic to pursue stigmatization, political manipulation, and blame shifting. They are being disrespectful to science, irresponsible to people's lives, and counterproductive to the concerted global efforts to fight the virus. On Fox News today, former State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortegas makes the point that when Australia called for an independent investigation into these theories last year, where、well, we faced economic backlash. She questions how the world will ever get the truth if China keeps pushing back. In fact, when you look beyond the United States, when you look at Australia, they dared last year to simply call for an independent investigation, and the Chinese Communist Party en- enacted trade、uh, retributions against them for doing so. And they have silenced one by one every critic,、uh, starting especially with the WHO.